Hey guys, what's up? This is AJ. Now, if you're looking at me, you're probably wondering, AJ, why are you just staying there in your underwear? Well, I have a really good reason. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine last night, and I was saying, you know, when I was first um, looking at guys' clothes and basically kind of transitioning as far as appearance-wise, I didn't really know much about how to convert like woman's size to men's size. And she was like, you know, I haven't really seen anything like that either. And even when I looked up websites and things like that, um, I kind of had to put two and two together. I asked some of my guy friends for help, things like that. So I am decided that I was going to make a video showing how it is that you can figure out um, your size and guys. And so what I have with me is a tape measure. You can use a cloth one, paper one, basically just one that you can wrap around you. Um, guy's shirt and guys pants and somewhere over there oh. guys shoes all right so the first thing you want to do let's focus from the neck down when you're trying to figure out your shirt size and guys guys typically have small medium and large basically kind of like women um the difference mainly is in pants but i'll get into that later so what you want to do is you want to take your tape measure and you want to measure um, your waist, so you'd wrap it around like this way. And then um, you want to measure from basically the inside of your arm down to where your waist is. And then also your arm length. So basically, and you also need your bust. I always forget about that bust. Um, because that's really important because that's where like on most people that area is bigger. And so you want it to be either, you want it to be like a good fit. So um, the areas to measure are your waist, uh, on the inseam, I guess what you would call it, bust, and sleeve length. Although sleeves is mainly for or arm length, but, but I guess that's mainly if you're getting long sleeve shirts rather than short sleeve, because short sleeve it doesn't really matter. Um, so then what you want to do is, and I'll post a link to it so that way people can find it, is um, find your measurements. On, online, there's usually there are usually websites that have charts that tell you how um, how long certain inches are. So like if you're between this and this, then you're small. Um, then if you're between this and this, you're medium, large, things like that. So um, once you get your measurements, go um, check out the website and the post below, and it'll have a chart on it that tells you basically um, what it is that your size is. All right. So for my measurements, I have a small shirt. And yes, it is really wrinkly. I usually am on top of my ironing, but I, but today I just I just didn't really care. All right, so shirt. This is a small shirt. It's actually kind of big on me. I'm probably supposed to be wearing um, an extra small, but this is basically what I have. So um, another thing that you might notice is the fact that the buttons are on a different side of of a shirt if you're wearing a button-down shirt because a woman's clothes buttons are traditionally on this side but on men's it's on this side. So when you're buttoning, sometimes it's a little weird at first because you're like, oh, well, I don't really know. Um, it's like kind of weird just putting, I guess, just moving your fingers in the opposite direction. So basically, that's how you do that. I'm just going to quickly button this up. And the next thing I'm going to move on to is pant size. I'm not going to bother doing all of them. Um, pants is a little bit more confusing because with women's pants, you have like you have one size. You have like eight, nine, etc., and it's usually waist. And then you have to um, figure out like, okay, what pants will fit around my thighs and everything. Because the problem is a lot of people who have a female body is you have the curves. So it's like you kind of have the little the thing back there to function or to factor in. So that's why sometimes trying on like guy clothes and things like that can be a little bit difficult because guys, no offense, like cisgender males don't really have that big of a butt area, or most of them don't. So um, pants, like trying on pants is a little bit harder because that area is usually smaller. So what you want to do is first we're going to take a look at the inside of um, pants and look at the sizes. And I'm using this pair because the size is really huge and it's really easy to see. As you can see it says 32. 32 is the waist in inches, so this is a 32 waist pant, basically, which is what I wear. And then if you look on the inside, it says 32 times 32, 
32, the first number, wait, wait, right here, is the waist, and then over here is the inseam. And the inseam is basically, and I'm going to back up a bit, is from like the inside of her crotch down to um, your ankle or foot, depending on how long you want your pants to be. So what we want to do is take your tape measure again and wrap it around your waist where you would wear your pants. So I'm going to wrap this around and it says like I'm at about like a 34 because I can wear 34 comfortably. Um, 34, 32, something like that. And then what you want to do is take your tape measure, and I'm going to angle the computer a little better. And you want to measure basically right on the inside of your crotch all the way down to basically where you want your pants to end. If you're someone who wants your pants to end, say your ankle, you would measure down to like right here, or you can measure down to your heel. It all depends on you. And then you take that measurement, and for instance, since I'm a 32 by 32, then that's what, um, then I would be looking for pants that have 32 waist, 32 inseam. Now the thing with, with guys' pants is um, that a lot of them, it's kind of like with women's clothes. For instance, not every size 9 will fit you comfortably. Some size 9s are a little bigger, some a little smaller, so it's the same thing with guys. So what I suggest doing is going to like a thrift store or going on eBay and getting three different pant sizes that are close to what um, your measurements are. For instance, I tried a 30, 32, and a 34 because um, my measurements were about 32, 34, but sometimes guys can be run a little small or can run a little large. So I got three different kinds of shorts during the summer, tried them on, and I felt and I figured out which ones fit the best. In my opinion, 32 waist is the one that was most comfortable to me, but I could also wear a 34 or 33 as well. Um, but 30 is a little bit too snug, which I don't really like. So that's how you figure out your pants. Um, there are also different kinds of pants, like you have straight leg, boot cut, um, things like that, which basically you would have to try on. You should try them on regardless, just to make sure. But um, until you figure out, you know, what size, specific size to look for, depending on the clothing. Now, the last thing before my video gets too long is shoes. Now, these are a size 8. To figure out your guy size and shoes, you basically want to take your shoe size and decrease it by 2. For instance, I can wear um, a size 10 in women's sneakers, um, dress shoes, whatever. So in guys, I would wear about an 8, maybe 7.5, 8.5, give or take. It also kind of just depends on the shoe, but the most common thing to do is subtract two of your shoe sizes and that will be what you wear men's because men's shoes typically run large. Um, so that basically kind of concludes my video. If you guys have any more questions about sizing, anything like that, um, I will try and post some other videos as well going over that um, or going over some other things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just let me know. Alright, bye.